Well, safe to say this Hummer has lasted long enough. <laughs> I'm going over to the used car lot and I'm going to buy me a car. There's a plethora of them over there at the Ashton Kutcher dealership. They got them Fieros and all kinds of stuff, so I'm going to go over and buy one. The things that are important to me, and I've thought of this through, I, I need payload capacity. I need horse tire. I need torque. I need uh, cup holders nice. It's not a deal breaker, but it'd be nice. So I'm going to go look at some now. Because this Hummer has... It's lasted long enough. I'm satisfied now. Myself here at the first dealership. I got a whole plethora of salespeople up there waiting to pounce like these vultures. I'm gonna roll up my window in a stealth manner. Now they won't talk to me. Anyway, it looks like it's a Mossberg Alpha Numeric dealership or some sort of crazy tarnation, man. I ain't even ever heard of an Alpha Numeric. Them little Giuli, Gilu, Hallelujah. It's a, it's an alphanumeric Hallelujah is what it looks like. I don't even. What the hell's an alphanumeric? It's a, it's a brave new world out there, and I'm terrified. Alphanumeric, Hallelujah. I'll get a better shot back right here. I'm gonna read this thing in this car. I'll tell you what, huh? Take my camera because it's documentation crucial. I'm gonna come back here and look at this damn thing. Switch the camera over to. Well, all right, I don't even know how to. I'm just gonna do. Oh, is that it? Is that it? Right. Hit that button. I fear I'm taking still shots as opposed to changing the orientation of the lens. All right, well, let's get up. Good God, look at that. Got him a fountain. Let's go over here and look at this alphanumeric. Hallelujah. It says hallelujah right there on there. Either that or Gustav Chili. Alpha and Romeo. Hell, I'm perplexed. I'll admit it. It's a got a broken mirror on it. This thing better be on sale. All I'm saying. Is, well, hell, 46 grand. That's, that's. Oh shit! There comes a salesperson walking over to one. Oh, dang now, but. Hell, I had to stop. Look at that car right there. The mirror's even, the mirror's not broken or nothing. That other one had a broke mirror, it's all stuck up on the side. That's one of them modular, modular. It sounds like a type of pasta. I don't rem recall exactly what they call it, but it's like a type of rigatone, mo hell, I don't know. That's a pretty car though, I mean, if it has any increased payload capacity in the trunk, that'd be a hell of a car right there. I'm just saying. Well, I'm back in the car. Tell you what, that was awkward. Man came over to me, he's like, you wanna buy a car? And I was like, I'd like to buy something with an in pre increased payload capacity. He's like, well, the alphanumeric ain't got no payload capacity. I was like, well, I'm, I don't need one of them then, do I? He's like, why don't you go look across the street? Because they got Ashton Kuchers over there. They got Fierro's and stuff. So I'm going to go over there and Fierro's bound to make a good truck. Well, they got the motor in the back, though. I'd have to have all my, my log chains and stuff in the frunk. Frunk is a term that I have not yet embraced it just it's awkward at best 
it's bizarre. It's not in our everyday vernacular, thereby making it difficult to introduce into a normal sentence with any regularity. Let's go look at the Fierros and the, the other stuff. Ashton Kutcher. Let me say first of all, I, I didn't even know Ashton Kutcher got into selling cars. I know he had that show punked and stuff and then he married that old woman. Next thing you know, he's like, he probably lost all will to live when he married the old woman. I'm just saying. Let's go look at the Fierros and the Ashton Cooker. I'm sure there's some pretty ones over there. I'm just looking for increased payload capacity, people. That one right there would be a hell of a car if it didn't have that big shiny thing on the back window. That's bound to cause a glare for other people driving down the road. Well, you can't say they're not downright honest about it, saying their damn cars are bent. I don't know why the hell I... This place up here has got McNuggets. And we all like McNuggets. There's a... There's a little... Got a wing on the back. You can have a picnic and whatnot. You can get your friends together and get some beanie weenies and some crackers, whether it be a saltine or a Ritz. It's really your decision, isn't it? And we got the... I don't even know what that is. I think that's a 300M. I ain't enough of a baller to have one of those things, though. You gotta be a baller. That's something over there. Another McNugget. Oh, that's a party car, ain't it? That thing right there, that's a car. There's a McNugget. And a McNugget. They say these cars are rare, but hell, there's five of them right here and they're within 712 feet of each other. It's, oh, I, I spotted an Ashton Kutcher. I'm going to come over here and look at this because I've entertained at length the thought of having an, an Ashton Wait, there's one right there too. There's an Ashton Kutcher. That, that's a convertible, so you could just throw lumber and whatnot right in the back seat, have the top down. It would hang out the top you put a bungee strap on it or there's another Ashton Kutcher right there that one of course it's a convertible too so it could it could have increased payload now there's a car coming up here that I think the kids got a hold of and just got what the hell if I would have done that when I was a boy my daddy would have busted my ass in the next Tuesday Ask me how I know, because I did. But I did mine to a Torino station wagon. I didn't do it to a, a McNugget. I don't even know how much these things cost, but I hear you can buy them like 10 at a time. Come in a box. What else we got? Another thing I tell you I discovered about the state of Florida, y'all. Back where I come from, you can get a corn husk. A freshly removed corn husk from an ear of corn and you could wipe your butt with it. And it was just smooth and soft and supple. However, you try with a palm tree leaf and it hurts. You'll have lacerations that are formidable. Don't ask me to spell that. We have some more cars up through here. Boy, he's got a good looking truck. Oh, he's gone. Well, he's back. Look at that, I tell you what, these people must be getting rid of these Hummers left and right. When I was a kid, a Hummer was about the best thing you could hope for. For most people, it's still that way. My girlfriend said she wanted me to come over here and she's wanting to build on to the house there. And she's got a thing about it. They call them lanai's out here in Florida but the rest of the country calls them a porch or a patio or whatnot. So I'm, I'm here at this place that they, uh, they make custom porches and whatnot. So I'm gonna go ahead and look, what the hell is that thing? Look at that, will you look at that? Oh, hold on a second, will you look at that? I don't even know what the hell that is. Look at them headlights. 
Someone must have taken him out of a Cavalier or something. That's high-end modification. I don't even mind saying this is the realization of a dream. A life goal. I'm at the Ashton Kutcher dealership. I really admired him when he was on that punk show and then he married that old woman. And hell, nobody likes to be married to an old woman. I don't know where he went after that, but then next thing you know, we got an Ashton dealership out here in Florida. I tell you what, it's strange the way life goes. The twists, the turns, the whatnot. I'll see y'all later on back to the house. Bye now.